The Huffington Post is reporting on some interesting new findings about anxiety and, to a lesser extent, depression. They say the following, quote, One of the largest misconceptions about anxiety is that the disorder is something people bring upon themselves. Adding to the evidence against this isolating stereotype, a new study from the University of Wisconsin-Madison found that the brain function that underlies anxiety and depression may be inherited. Okay, so scientists uh, studied rhesus monkeys for this, which, according to them, it has a they have a very similar anxiety profile to human beings. So they say the following, quote, Previous research suggests that anxiety and depression may be at least partially biological, brought on by chemical imbalances in the brain. Studies conducted by the National Institute of Mental Health and the World Health Organization have also found that mental illnesses such as schizophrenia and major depressive disorder, share genetic risk factors and may run in families. So, understand uh, the totality of what they're saying there. They're saying that uh, you can have an increased risk for X problem uh, genetically. So, just because of how you were born. So, in this study, they were able to ascertain that Anxiety is about 30% passed down. That's what they say. And the rest would be life experience and environment. But it's also important to add the giant caveat, which is, even though they're saying it's 30% uh, passed down, that still doesn't mean that, you know, the remainder of it, which is life experience and environment, it doesn't mean that it's a fair assessment to look at somebody who's anxious or depressed and you say to them, yeah, bring yourself out of it. You know, essentially the argument of pull yourself up by your bootstraps when it comes to your own mood. Because the reality is, even if aspects of depression or anxiety is based on life experience and environment, it's still the case that it's not something you can just poof, magically, you know, I'm better now. I always found it hilarious when people say, like, oh, uh, Think positive thoughts. They tell a depressed person or an anxious person, like, no, just, you know, uh, think better thoughts. Because that, and I, in all seriousness, that's like the dumbest kind of analysis and advice that anybody could give. Because what does it do? It presupposes that the person who's anxious or depressed didn't already think of that. <laughs> like, they didn't already, like, they go, oh, oh, okay, so I should just try not to be anxious. Got it. Cured. I, oh, I should just try not to be depressed. Wonderful idea. Oh, look, I cured myself. I just decided now not to be depressed anymore. It's not a fucking decision. If it was a decision, nobody would be depressed. Nobody would be anxious. So it, it can be both uh, genetic and biological, uh, and it could also be something that's based on your environment and based on life experience. But no matter what the mix is, no matter what the cocktail is with any individual, the reality is it should still be approached as a medical problem, not a problem of will. Nobody wants to be depressed, nobody wants to be anxious. It's a medical problem, so it should, you know, require our attention, our sympathy, and we should look for hardcore empirical scientific answers and solutions, which means tests, which means it, empirical evidence and data, so we know that X might cure or help with depression or anxiety, so X is the answer. No longer anybody's opinion of, eh, go talk to somebody for a little bit, or go run around the block a couple times, or eh, just uh, pull yourself out of it. Because all that advice is dumb, and it's advice that could have been given in the year 1200, made no sense then, it makes no sense now.